today focusing on MaxSurf stability. The MaxSurf stability module includes all of the advanced capabilities required for stability work in submitting calculations to the regulatory bodies and very comprehensive ability to define tanks and compartments, visualize them as well as modify them on the fly, uh, both hydrostatics and equilibrium analysis. There is also a very extensive criteria library that is built in and this is customizable. We're going to show you that during the demo. Uh, the module enables you to do uh, longitudinal strength, floodable length, limiting kg, cross curves, uh, probabilistic damage stability is available in the enterprise suite, Marpole oil outflow, as well as the ability to perform batch analysis and do some automation scripting with the COM interface. Today we're going to focus on these uh, parts of MaxSurf stability. So without further ado, let's jump right into the software. So we brought in a model of a uh, supply vessel and you can see that here. Uh, there are uh, some very nice features for viewing the model in MaxSurf. Um, I just turned rendering off and I can have a, tr a transparent sort of a view and turn on my tanks and compartments and you can see here that I can uh, highlight various tanks that have already been defined here on the left so this includes both tanks as well as uh, compartments that have been defined and to just give you an idea of how easy it is to modify something uh, we can select something like the uh, this forward tank and over here on the lower left uh, is information about that tank and for example if I wanted to modify the height of that tank I can do that right here so if I wanted that to be say 12 feet um, you see the shape change and to uh, update that it's just the click of a mouse um, what we're going to do next is perform a equilibrium analysis first and to do that we first define our load case so we're going to bring up the load case window and that's what we're looking at here this is just one of several load cases that have been defined and with this window we can modify uh, whatever levels we want in the various tanks we can put uh, different loads on a tank and what's really nice is the way you can visualize what's going on here. So I'm going to turn off the rendering and you can see that I have the tanks shaded here. So for example, if I zoom in in this area and I modify the tank levels, you'll see that get shaded. As well as in the plan view, um, you can see that as well. I can also turn point loads on and off and for example if I want to say that the crane load is a transverse arm outboard uh, and put a load on it we'll say 10 tons you'll see that show up right here so let's just run this analysis real quick see what happens I'm going to turn the rendering back on and we'll also turn on our water plane and we just go ahead and run the analysis and to pull up my results window that's right here and you can see that the vessel has healed 9.9 uh, .9 degrees we've got a bunch of other hydrostatic properties here that show up uh, we can manipulate the view by just using our toolbars here if I want to make a change and rerun the analysis uh, I just set it back to zero and let's say for example I want to take the load off of this crane here so I'm just going to change that to zero and rerun it and you see my heel just changed back to zero again 
The next thing we want to show is a normal upright hydrostatics calculation. So to do that, we just define our range of drafts. So we're going to go from 3 feet to 9 feet in increments of 1 foot. And I can um, go ahead and run that. And if I want to look at my graph, that's right here. Here's my GM curve. If I want to read a value along the curve, I can do that with this tool. And then this is my location of the uh, buoyancy above the keel. Other curves of form are all plotted here. Curve of areas and the Bongine curves. Next thing we're going to perform is a large angle stability and we'll set it back to zero. To define large angle stability I need to define uh, the ranges of my heel angles so we're going to go from negative 30 to 180 degrees and we just run the analysis and here I can view uh, the table of the results is right here and what's nice about this is that all of these types of um, tables are very easy to copy and paste from into Excel. It was set up that way uh, by design. And if I want to look at my writing arm, I can look at that here, as well as uh, other aspects of doing large angle stability. The other thing I can do is when I run this, I can define a criteria that I need to meet and that's all done right here with a built-in criteria library which is very extensive. Uh, this is designed to handle international customers for all the various codes from Australia, Canada, the US, IMO, ISO, etc. So what we did for this analysis was we just selected a standard US Coast Guard um, stability criteria for all inspected vessels and to look at the results of that I can do that easily in this window here and this just gives me a very detailed description of what the criteria was what the required value is and what the actual value was during the analysis and which items passed and failed so that all shows up right here The next thing we want to do is perform a floatable length calculation. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to turn to the this view here. I'll turn my tanks off. I'll turn my sections on. And I'll go into here and set up that I'm going to leave this to the default of uh, setting up how I want my trim to behave and then I need to define the displacement so to save a little time we're just going to do one displacement value So that's set up right here I can define permeabilities as many as I want so we'll just set up 90% uh, for that and I can also define some criteria here for performing the floodable length so we'll leave all this at the defaults so to run that push that button so what it's doing right now you see the sections shading of the various uh, lengths being applied to the vessel and the vessel is actually trimming to those um, those compartment lengths so it's finished I can pull up my floatable length curves right here I had already defined the bulkhead locations that's what these are here I've got a little bit of an issue here that has to be worked on. And lastly, we're going to have some time to do the longitudinal strength calculation. Um, you'll notice in this window, by the way, how I can see the point loads that are defined in the uh, load case window um, in the various views. So going to longitudinal strength, 
we are going to uh, leave this in the flat water condition, but we could specify uh, waveforms if we want to. That's a, done in this window. And we simply run that. And to look at my longitudinal strength curves, that's right here. Uh, same thing with the other curves. I can look at the actual values that show up on the various curves, and the value is red on the bottom of the screen here. The other thing that's happening all along is I'm able to say whether or not I want to spool the results to a report, and that's what's happening here. I had this going to the report. So I can open that up right here. So this is capturing all of the results that we've been running from the equilibrium calculation um, through the, uh, the hydrostatics, etc., the large angle stability. And it's very easy to uh, take this and save it as a, uh, a Word document. And you can also edit it in Microsoft Word. So um, that's about all we have time for today. Uh, it's a very extensive um, module, the stability module. There are other capabilities here that we didn't have time to cover, like probabilistic damage, tank calibration, MARPOL, oil outflow, cross curves, etc. So I'm going to switch over to my uh, closing slide. Uh, please visit our website. It's charlestonmarineconsulting.com. We've got a lot of Great information on MaxSurf uh, on the various modules as, as well as links to some very educational YouTube 